Hi, Rob Quickenden here, Windows Insider MVP, and today we are going to be looking at Bing Chat Enterprise. Um, this was announced at Microsoft Inspire earlier this week, um, and it's actually available in preview for commercial customers to try now. Um, there's a, a blog on this that I've written uh, earlier on, which you can read, but we're going to have a look today at um, the new Bing Chat Enterprise and how this works. So what is Bing Chat Enterprise? Well, Bing Chat Enterprise is a commercial version of Bing Chat. This is essentially the same platform uh, that has been around since about March, April time, but this is really designed for corporate organizations. And the key difference between the two is this allows organizations to be able to use the generative AI features of Bing Chat, which is based on GPT-4, ChatGPT-4, uh, without worrying about your commercial data being leaked. So what we see quite a lot is organizations taking content from a corporate document, copy and pasting that data into, for example, Google or into ChatGPT. And of course, we're essentially leaking, in many cases, corporate information onto the internet. Those systems, those commercial systems, use that information to train their large language models. So with Bing Chat Enterprise, that doesn't happen. Your corporate data and anything that you share within that is protected, that is not shared with Microsoft, that is not used to train a large language model, yet you still get to benefit from the wider language models that Bing Chat uses, which is based on ChatGPT4, uh, enabled to provide um, insightful information and things. And it's actually quite powerful. Um, this is different to Microsoft Copilot within Microsoft 365. So this is not going to be able to transcribe Word documents and change Word documents and those kind of things. But there is a huge amount of features available. And what's great about this is it's built directly into the Edge browser, which of course is Chromium browser. So if you're using Chrome today, great reason to switch over to Microsoft Edge within your organization. So we're gonna dive in in a moment and have a look at how this, how this works. And I'm going to scroll down here and just leave some of the frequently answered questions open because we're going to pop back to these in a moment. So what I've done here is I have signed into my Office 365 account. I have opened a Word document, it's a draft document that, that I've actually been working on with a PR agency. And what I'm going to do is, is head over to the right hand side of the screen and you'll see here there's the familiar Bing button if you've been using this. Now, when I load this up, you'll notice the first thing that happens is this loads up the sidebar. It's actually really quick. It's really responsive. And if you're familiar with using ChatGPT or the Bing Chat engine, this will look very familiar to you. But the difference is you'll see this is Bing Chat Enterprise uh, rather than just the core Bing Chat. It knows that because I'm signed in with my corporate ID. You can see here it's telling me my corporate uh, personal and company data are protected. So none of this data that I type in here is going to leave the organization. None of it can be tracked, none of it can be sold for advertising. So we've kind of got a bit of that safety mechanism. But we can do all the same kind of things that, that we would expect to be able to do. And you'll see all the way through this, I'm reminded uh, many times that my data is protected. So the first thing we're gonna do, and this is actually a really cool thing. So again, this is not Microsoft 365 Copilot but I do have a Word document open within the browser. And because the Bing Enterprise Chat is part of that browser, it's essentially built into the browser, um, I can ask it a question. So I'm gonna ask a question about this document, which is four pages, four pages long. So let's ask it to summarize this document for me. Can you tell me what this? document is about. And what you'll see happen is um, it will actually scan the page. So it's now looking at that page. It essentially is a web page. This is Word Online. And you'll see here it's it's producing relatively quickly a summary of that document. So it's telling me it's written by me uh, for, for an organization and it and it discusses how effective collaboration is um, or how, how effective collaboration is for critical hybrid work, productivity, suggests some of the key ingredients, talks about uh, the things I've mentioned in here, so the importance of network security, productivity tools, and those kind of things. And if we scroll down into the document, you'll see those things are actually uh, have actually been talked about. So it has picked those things up. Um, now I can go a little bit deeper in here. Uh, you'll see here I get the option to answer from the web. So if I'm not happy with the answer, 
from the document I've given it, it can go off and search the internet for me based on those the, those requests. Um, I wouldn't imagine it would find much because this is my document. Um, I can also ask it to do a bit more. So I'm going to ask it to summarize the document or bring out the key points. Let's ask it to bring out the key points. What are the key points discussed in this document? Again, if you're familiar with ChatGPT, this kind of uh, interaction, it will be quite familiar to you, but it's but it's really quite responsive. And you'll see here it is pulling out a handful of bullet points that it's, it's deemed are important. So here we are, I am back in a PowerPoint presentation this time. So a PowerPoint presentation I've opened from our SharePoint Drive, uh, or link I've been shared. And again, I'm back in conversation mode. I am now going to ask um, Bing Chat a question about this. So what is this slide all about? Obviously only one slide, um, just a simple one for, for examples. So it said, hello, thank you very much. Uh, it's given me a slide, it's telling me it's a case study about one of our customers. Um, it's a department store in London and Cezillion, a company I work for, have transformed all their network environment using Cisco DNA SD access. So, Awesome, brilliant. Um, obviously, this was longer. I could ask it to do more things, but you kind of get the example of this. But you know, it's picked up some key information. I can ask it um, from other information. It will try and pull some information. It's suggesting some information in here as well. Um, I'm going to simply ask it to do something a bit different. So I'm going to ask it to take the numbers within this document and put it into a table. So, can you create? a table based on key numbers presented. In this way, it's going to reinterpret this information. It's going to look for uh, key snippets of those and things that contain factual data, and it's going to pull this into a table for me. So um, this has pulled out what was actually in the number slide and a little bit more. Uh, it looks like it's got the majority of the information correct. Again, we need to check it, but that's pretty good. Um, so that's quite key, really. Um, I could now go off and ask it questions about other things within here. So I could ask it about Cisco DNA SD access. It would go and search the internet for those things. I could ask it uh, more information about the organization. Um, pretty much anything I want to, really. And it will use a combination of the information it can find in the document and information it can find on the internet. So. I could just ask it how it are, um, or I could um, ask it where how it is. So where is? Can you show me on a map? How about that? Can you show me on a map where the how it store is? So you can be quite creative with this, just like you'd expect to with with Bing Chat. Um, in this case, it's searching the internet. Um, it's telling me where it is. It's going to give me a map reference on here. And there we go. There's actually the map where the location is. So really, really useful. Can use this for, for any kind of thing. So loads and loads of use cases. Um, I can connect this to it. I can be on a website and ask it information. I could ask uh, it to compare. I could ask it financial data. Uh, and it will go and do all those things, all without you, all without leaving the context of the browser I'm in. So really, really great for personal use, really, really great for business use, um, and without the fear that my data that I'm sharing on here is leaving the organization. None of this data is going off and being sold for advertising or used to train the model. This is purely contained within an organizational context. So thank you for watching, um, and good luck playing with Bing Chat Enterprise.